Hello and welcome to the demo of Estonian Player. This is a desktop software audio player for Windows, uh, Mac OS, and should supposedly also work on Linux, so I haven't tested. And um, it plays your audio files, it plays uh, Q, uh, it supports Q files, it plays FLAC, uh, OGG, and all, all the other different formats, uh, M4A, uh, what have you. It supports Last.fm, uh, it supports uh, graphic equalizer yeah and for the last of them let me actually play something and uh, I hover here no oh, why the tooltip keeps disappearing yeah this is it says uh, that the last of them uh, now playing was set that's why the icon is green if it wouldn't be able to connect it would be red so um, yeah it has uh, different features like uh, repeat the playlist artist album or just track shuffle over the whole playlist or just artist or just album or just a specific genre i have a search here for the play queue i don't have um, media library support yet but i plan to implement it in the future sometime but right now i just have the display black queue where i just dropped all of my files and as you can see i have a uh, almost 24,000 tracks in here but if i want to find something like uh, iron maiden I can just search here and if I press up or down buttons I can sh uh, uh, switch uh, through the search results I can also use these buttons this is I have a full phrase search or partial search like if I uh, search for blood and iron I find uh, four tracks Man of Iron from Blood and Eyes, Blood and Iron by G Genocide, Blood Brothers by Iron Maiden, you see so Iron matches in the artist and the blood matches in the title, etc. Uh, but if, if I was looking for specifically Blood and Iron, still two matches, I have the Iron Maiden, Blood on the World's Hands. So blood matches in the title, the made, uh, Iron matches in the artist and, and also matches in the title, I think, in hands. So, but uh, there is a song called Blood and Iron by Bloodsorn. If I check the full phrase, it only searches for the specific full phrase, doesn't search for individual words. So you yeah, have Bloodsorn, full phrase uh, search there. And if you search by uh, numbers, it will match by the uh, date as well. So it uh, searches by date and genre also. Uh, so it, yeah, so you see it matches the, the genre as well. But if I wanted to find the Paradise Lost Gothic, album then I can do just that just type if I type Paradise Lost and Gothic it's searching it's both artist title uh, album yeah everything and um, if I just want an album from 2022 do I actually have anything yeah I have something if I type 2022 you see I, I'm just finding whatever I only have one album from 2022 so far but yeah there it is so uh, search is pretty useful if I want to scroll back to um, wherever I'm currently playing, I just double click on the uh, track name and it gets me back to where I was. I have a, a volume control in here on the right, of the graphic equalizer. Let's see if it works. If I just, for instance, do this, you should hear the change in the sound, right? And then if I turn it off, you can immediately hear the sound changes. So yeah, uh, have the keys to control it. To go into search, you can press Command F or Control F, uh, whichever is more convenient for you, depending on whether you're on Mac or Windows. Both will work. You can use the space bar if you're in the uh, this uh, table uh, to play and pause. But if you're in search, the play space bar, of course, just inputs uh, text into here. So you can use Command P or control P to play pause. You also have the command E to change the, the shuffle and command R to change the repeat modes. Uh, so it's uh, yeah, cycling through the repeat modes. And um, you have a command with a square bracket uh, opening and closing for the next and previous tracks as well. And a command T for the stop if you want uh, to stop for whatever reason. So that's uh, the player uh, and uh, the support of Q files. Let me actually show that Q file again. Um, is important for me because uh, I have my CDs uh, grabbed as one big uh, flag file, usually with a Q file near it. And if I we open the Q file in the text editor, 
let me bring it up from the other screen so you can see that it's just a regular text file well not completely re regular it has a uh, specific format but anyway you can edit it without any special software you can edit it with a notepad or whatever text editor uh, of choice and you can change any tags so you can change the title uh, artist the title of the tracks you can change the year the date so and you also even have the replay gain here by the way so something i plan to implement so that to set the gain in the queue automatically uh, for the replay gain i don't have that right now but uh, it's just something for the future so uh, if you want to change anything even uh, move the tracks around if you don't like how the tracks were uh, divided in the table of contents of the cd sometimes uh, they do it incorrectly like you have a silence in between tracks uh, and then the tracks starting and only uh, the, the actual audio starting and only then it will uh, begin according to the uh, table of contents so if you like uh, switch to a track it's not exactly from the beginning uh, something that i really hate <laughs> so you, you you can edit all of this by just using the text editor you don't need any specialized software that's why i love the q files but unfortunately uh, the support is pretty rare but finding the support of q files plus last fm plus a graphic equalizer is uh, very rare among the players for mac os and uh, also given the support for flac and uh, ogg formats because uh, itunes has e equalizer doesn't have the last fm but you can use the last fm uh, official client it's uh, has some downsides but it's potentially possible but then it doesn't support any q files of course and it doesn't support can't play flac can't play ogg without some hacks so uh won't work uh and instead i just uh, had to you know just did my own player that does the stuff that i want it has uh, the smart uh, repeat mode smart shuffle modes in the future i plan to add more stuff like a uh, rating system and allow to uh, some party shuffle that will only play the top rated tracks and maybe within the certain date region like i say i only want to uh i want a 90s party today right so play shuffle over the top tracks but uh, where the date is between 1990 and 2000 right for instance why not do this it's very simple to implement but no player has that so i'm, I'm planning to implement stuff like that uh, in the future but one fun stuff that i already have is this retro ui uh yeah actually let me show you do you remember this yeah this is a winamp skin but winamp is of course virtual and usable on the modern uh, desktops because it's just too small so we have this an arbitrary scaling for for those windows and um, this is a fellow functional ui with the playlist i have uh, my own you see the display is similar to this one uh, uh, it's a, a, a table with all the tracks it's not uh, just a list as the um, winamp had it with i also have the search here where you can search for stuff and support for the same uh functionality like you double click on the track did i show this that if you double click on the track and here on the track title it scrolls to where the track is in the play queue and the same here if i scroll somewhere god knows where but uh, i want to go back to where is the current track i just double click on the title and it scrolls there i also have this uh custom scroller here supported it had some <laughs> work to do to support it but it's working and if I'm kind of you know scrolling with a keyboard or with a uh, scroll wheel on the mouse or on a trackpad, or uh, like this, you know it's it's completely in sync. So yeah, the scroller works, and uh, the shuffle and the queue. Uh, sorry, here they they also you see the the mode switches in there. But of course in Winamp skin you can all only toggle it on or off. So I'm switching between the playlist and off here, and same for the repeat mode. Uh, shuffle and repeat I meant sorry it's a shuffle on the queue but uh, yeah same in EQ if I'm gonna enable EQ here it's gonna automatically enable in this window and whatever changes I make here and in, in this UI or in this UI they are propagated uh, to the other window completely uh, in runtime you can see that uh, when I'm moving the sliders in here they are also moving in there and if I reset here, it's reset in there. If I load the playlist, uh, sorry, uh, not the playlist. What's the name of, of the thing? Preset, yeah. Uh, 
weird that I <laughs> couldn't uh, remember the word. Anyway, if I load the presets, they are supported. Some fans are not uh, yet fully supported, like I don't have a graph <coughs> here for the EQ, but I guess it's not very important to have it. I mean, you, you can see the EQ here with all those uh, sliders, they already form in a graph basically. So I uh, kind of don't want to waste uh, a lot of time developing everything. This button doesn't work right now, and uh, these buttons on the bottom here, like all the section doesn't work, doesn't have anything, and I also don't have the visualization here. And these buttons don't work also this button does nothing and uh, i don't have the minimized player so uh, these buttons also do not uh, um, are not implemented but other than that like uh, yeah you could have in the the minimized view but other than that it's all working the balance is working let me actually play something so you can hear it if i play this track see the balance is all on the left or properly in the middle or all to the right so that's all supported the the gain in the EQ is supported independently of volume so they, they both affect the uh, the volume and uh, yeah this button <laughs> does nothing I plan in future to repurpose this auto button uh, for uh, auto replay gain and then I consider also uh, implementing options like um, tying a particular album, uh, not just to re replay gain through the uh, key file, but also to um, equalizer preset, for instance. I know that uh, accept suggestion of rules have a nice sound, but I have uh, other accept album like Death Row, and it uh, just doesn't have uh, enough, uh, yeah, actually, full phrase. That's <laughs> exactly the option that I'm looking for. Yeah, it doesn't have enough uh, low uh, frequencies, doesn't have enough bass, so I might want to you know, have a specific EQ assigned to that. I don't have that yet, but I'm planning to work on features like that in the future. So uh, more to come in the future, and check regularly for new releases if you uh, wanna use the player, because I'm going to implement uh, bug fixes and new stuff uh, to it, at least I have. I plan to do it if I have the time. And uh, for more fun stuff, I have the skin browser here. I've uh, downloaded a bunch of skins. You can import skins through the import skins option here, or you can just go to your home folder, user home folder, go to .sonium folder, and uh, copy skins into the skins folder. Just remember to give them the WSD extension if you want to import them or if you want to drop them directly in here in this folder uh, use the WZ extension because that's how the Sony Home player recognizes that this file is a Venom skin so uh, yeah in the skin browser you can just uh, cycle through the skins uh, it, it can be done uh, whoops how did I, uh, I accidentally click on cross yeah you can do this as you play music let me make this a little bit quieter uh, the, completely uh, alive yeah you can just uh, change the skin and maybe find the skin that you like and it's a ton of fun to be honest to look at uh, how creative people were with designing all those skins and how different the styles were like some of them are more like skeuomorphic you see those look like actual physical buttons and some panels with uh, a, uh, like a flare, lens flare or I'd say the reflection from the, the light and the others are more uh, those are also skeuomorphic they represent something like a, a car stereo well actually that, that was the Venamp uh, by skin originally showing something like a car stereo some are more uh, like fantasy designs but uh, look like uh, again real physical objects so guess also skeuomorphic and uh, some are more abstract designs uh, some are really convenient with uh, regards to uh, how visible the uh, elements are how easy it is to uh, click the buttons and uh, the others are not not so much they are more about the you know cute uh, looks but it's kind of hard to figure out like where's the volume 
uh, in here or the balance I <laughs> really uh, can't see them that well and they are just so different uh, for instance this uh, skin is uh, there's no skin morphism here right it's just the boxes some of them are uh, this is nice like DOS skin and uh, some of them are stylized for um, like old device or like I had a Mac OS 8 uh, where was it I can't see it right now but I just have uh, so many skins uh, to try them for fun like this is more uh, of a minimalistic design for instance and uh, again some cool skeuomorphic design that looks great even uh, upscaled even though there's some pixelation still I love how some of those skins uh, they don't look that well when upscaled but the others look just uh, uh, just uh, great even upscaled and um, they also had variations uh, in the colors like for instance these two skins are exactly the same except for the color but you could choose the one that you like more so there were uh, a lot of stuff uh, for the creative freedom this one's more again uh, they look like a little bit physical buttons but completely different design from uh, something like uh, this for example where you have uh, this uh, <laughs> very cute uh, designs for the sliders uh, but uh, overall like a futuristic weird look with some crystals and uh, uh, it looks like some I don't know alien technology pretty cool uh, there is also translucency supported if their skins have translucency uh, uh, Sony on player supports that in the Winamp 2.x skins that uh, I support uh, the translucency is only allowed in the main window and equalizer window not for the playlist so yeah unfortunately not that but uh, in the in those windows it's fully supported like you can have stuff like that and you see it's uh, completely working and yeah um, just just uh, so much fun to uh, be able to run those winamp skins again and uh, use them and look at uh, all the only re really really great and creative designs uh, where people uh, were able to express themselves through those designs and create some pretty cool stuff and it's uh, just so different uh, there are some skins that are alike but uh, there are so many different approaches towards designing a Winamp skin and by the way yeah, another skin that shows the, the translucency there uh, in between windows and in the windows so just ton of fun to be honest to be able to <laughs> relieve all that and also I have this uh, window snapping implemented as well where you can like snap a playlist to a main window and then a queue to a, to a playlist or the other way around the queue to the main window and playlist to the queue and drag them all together or unsnap them all of that stuff is supported and then of course I you can also resize the playlist as you would resize it in Winamp but then also scale it as you would uh, scale it uh, just the, the whole skin completely for the modern resolutions so pretty great I, I <laughs> think yeah some something's wrong with that skin the main window couldn't render the skins look just great I mean I mean even upscaled you can see some pixelations in the uh, rounded buttons but otherwise it still looks pretty pretty nice even uh, even upscaled and though they were never intended to be <laughs> uh, upscaled to uh, such sizes but they still work and you see like this is one approach to design quite minimalist you have very, very functional you can see very clearly all the elements and then the other is this where you have uh, uh, all lots of small details just for the sake of the, uh, the beauty basically but not uh, functional at all and some things might even be harder like where is the volume slider I, I can click it but I don't know I have to where do I have to hit it to drag and drop and the balance the same here like uh, you can't even tell left from right <laughs> uh, but yeah but it looks uh, pretty and unique and just great so yeah oh they made holes in the queue window for fun 
so you you could make uh, you could have a ton of different uh, fun oh this is the last for the macOS aqua interface also uh, just amazing yeah if you go to the Vinam skin museum you, you, there's a ton of uh, uh, skins that you can download and use and you just have fun with so yeah this is the sony on player and hope you uh, enjoyed it check uh, regularly for uh, updates again yeah because i'm uh, implementing bug fixes and improvements uh, as well from time to time and uh, just to have everything working uh, even if there are no no new features so yeah uh, do that and um, yep yeah, hope you uh, enjoyed the, this this demo thank you for your attention <laughs>